Hi chemists. In this video, we are going to focus on relating our knowledge of the mole by using both particles and mass conversions. By the end of this video, you'll be able to perform two-step conversions using molar mass and representative particles such as atoms, molecules, and formula units. We have already learned how to convert moles into particles and vice versa by using the following conversion factor. One mole equals 6.02, times 10 to the 23rd particles. And remember, those particles could be atoms, molecules, or formula units. We have also learned how to convert moles into grams and vice versa by using the conversion factor, one mole of any substance equals the atomic mass of that substance in grams. These two conversion factors can now be combined. And if that happens, you'll see that you'll have to go from particles into the moles using the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and then go from moles into grams using the molar mass. This is a really helpful visual, so I really suggest that you write this down. Conversely, you could go in the opposite direction. So for example, maybe a problem gives you the mass of something and it asks you to go into particles, but we'll do the same thing. In order to go from grams into moles, we're going to use the molar mass. In order to go from moles into particles, we're going to use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So let me show you some examples. So this question says, what is the mass of 1.79 times 10 to the 24th formula units of K3PO4, which you probably know as potassium phosphate? Just like usual, we'll write our known and our unknown. You'll notice that this problem goes from formula units into mass. And since you identify that it's going from formula units into mass, that is automatically telling you that this is going to be a two-step conversion problem. So we'll start with our 1.79 times 10 to the 24th formula units and put it over 1. Our next conversion factor has to relate formula units. And so therefore, the only number that we know that relates formula units is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then you can clearly see that formula units and formula units will divide out. And then as I've discussed before, if you solve the problem right now, your answer would be in moles. However, this question is asking for mass. And so that's why you have to take it one step further and calculate the molar mass of the substance. So we have three potassiums, one phosphorus, and four oxygen. And so these should be the individual molar masses that you get. You have to add them together, and that will be the molar mass of potassium phosphate. That will be the mass that you will incorporate into the next conversion factor. We'll have to have one mole on bottom in order to make sure that the moles cancel out, and then you'll put the molar mass on top. And then you can clearly see that moles and moles divide out. When you solve this, again, usually the number of sig figs is based off of the number that you have in your known. So since there are three in the known, there are going to be three sig figs in our answer, and that's where we get 631 grams of potassium phosphate. So this, as always, takes a little bit of practice, but keep practicing, and I know you'll do just fine. Thank you so much for watching. I know you're going to do really great in this unit.